Brighter Futures would like to thank the Association of Jersey Charities and the 50 at 50 funding campaign for the £10,000 donation we received. Brighter Futures, who are we? Brighter Futures are a local charity supporting parents, families and young people in Jersey. What do we do? Working alongside the main carer, our educational model provides them with the tools to manage life's challenges. Who do we serve? Brighter Futures is a local charity which was founded in 2008. Since then, the charity has supported more than 2,800 families, benefiting over 11,200 islanders. Supporting 170 families at one time, Brighter Futures offers a range of programmes that address three crucial key areas of family life. Parent and child relationships helping our clients recognise and value their role as their child's first and most important educator. Wellbeing and positive mental health, supporting social and emotional wellbeing, allowing increased resilience with the outside world to give our clients a brighter future and hope. Personal development and second chance learning, providing the skills our clients may need in order to progress and succeed in education, work and life. All of these evidence-based programmes are delivered through a holistic approach, along with one-to-one -one key worker support. Each client has a co-produced holistic package of support which is tailored to their specific needs. These evidence-based programmes help the primary carer to build positive relationships and increase their own confidence in managing their children through the various growth and developmental stages, ranging from 0 to 10 years of age. At Brighter Futures, we look to treat the cause and not the symptom. We believe passionately that if a child grows up in a safe, happy and stimulating environment at home, then they will thrive at school and in later life. Some parents feel they need help in developing these skills, confidence and knowledge necessary to bring about those healthy and stimulating first years. How did the 50 at 50 funding help Brighter Futures? Last year, for the first time due to significant increase in self-referrals, Brighter Futures had to adopt a waiting list for families to use our services. With the help of the Association of Jersey's charity 50 at 50 funding, Brighter Futures were able to help two families by giving one-to-one -one key worker support and access to programmes. What difference and impact did the 50 at 50 funding make to two families? The first client and her family I would like to introduce was in a long-term relationship and was off work with her second child when she first came to Brighter Futures, suffering from depression at the time. The father of her first child had died and her current partner, the father of the second child, did not understand why she was depressed. She had experienced domestic violence from him the first time whilst being pregnant with her second child. She was in an extremely controlling relationship and at times became very tough for her with no support from her partner, friends or family, so she felt increasingly isolated and alone. Altogether, this caused her to stay at home with the children and she found she lost her self-confidence and self-worth. I lost my identity. I didn't know who I was anymore, she said. I felt so scared and alone and each day faced the battle of not wanting to be here anymore. I had a routine visit from my health visitor and we spoke about brighter futures. My confidence was so low and the thought of leaving the house to meet other people was too frightening for me. So my health visitor left me a phone number in case I changed my mind. After a few weeks, something just clicked and I decided to take the plunge and give brighter futures a call. I suppose I was at my lowest point and thought things couldn't get any worse. She called in and arranged a meeting with her key worker who went through the referral form with her that same day. She attended Growing Together, but it was all a bit too much too soon for her and her key worker soon realised that she needed more was the wellbeing programme. She chose the courses Mindfulness, Heart Math and Wants and Wishes and these gradually helped her to realise she wasn't just a mum with depression and in fact, she was still her own person. Whilst attending our Making Changes programme, she realised she was in an abusive relationship and sought help from her key worker to help her leave her relationship. Her key worker supported her again and although she did not leave the relationship at the time, she began to know her self-worth and gain strength through other friendships in her life. She said, whilst continuing my journey with Brighter Futures, I've started to feel like I'm not alone anymore. 
I started to regain my identity, and I'm not just a mum, but the person I was before I had the children. Although it took me many months, I've now broken free from the abusive relationship, but I'm continuing my journey with brighter futures. I feel so incredibly grateful to my health visitor for leaving me Brighter Futures number and for my key workers' continued support. I don't feel alone anymore and I stopped waking up every morning hating the fact that I was still alive. I have a new lease of life and I'm on the road to having ambition and confidence for myself, my family and my future. Thank you. The second family I would like to introduce to you was a mother working part-time in the evenings. She had a three-year-old son. She was re referred in for help with her parenting at Brighter Futures. She said, my life was hell. My son was not behaving like a normal child and we couldn't therefore leave the house. If we went out, my son would throw everything off the tables and generally be very naughty and cause lots of damage. I couldn't meet my friends and he would just kick off, hit or scream. He wouldn't even sit in his buggy. I thought to myself, I don't know what to do. I'm not doing anything right, but also what have I done wrong to have a child behave this way? I stayed at home as I was too scared to leave the house. People would always look at us and somebody would always have something bad to say to me. We then went to speech and language appointment. That didn't go very well, but they asked if I would like to go to the bridge and somebody there could help me. I was then referred to Brighter Futures. I met with my key worker who reassured me and helped me with some behavioural strategies and techniques for my son. We then spent the next two months meeting up every week with my boy to teach him social skills. For example, things like sharing with other children. My key worker also taught me about using simple language and gestures with him, such as saying gentle hands and gentle feet for when my child started to hit or kick. She also showed me how to play more together. And although I didn't know any of this beforehand and I felt embarrassed, I soon realized it was okay. And we just talked it all through. Overall, I began to gain my confidence in myself and my parenting skills with my son. Once my son's behavior was better, my key worker helped us to get one-to-one -one support so he could go into crash area and I could start attending parenting courses too, knowing he would cope and behave well without me. I've just finished the Growing Together course, which I've learned a lot from, and I feel I understand my boy a lot more, even about his brain development. He is a normal little boy and he just needs more time. In doing this course, I've met some lovely people in a very similar situation to me, and it's nice to know I'm not on my own and to be able to chat these things through with other mums and learn from them too. I've learned to care a little less about what people think or say about us, and I can now look at my life and live it without being in fear. I'm currently pregnant again, and I'm looking forward to meeting my new baby. Knowing these things are going to be de very different this time around. I know so much more about parenting and how to do things, and I'm much more confident and stronger in myself. I would recommend Brighter Futures to others. If I see they are finding it hard with their children, I tell them to go and see the health visitor and get referred across as they can help support and get guidance from Brighter Futures. My life has improved for the better, so thank you, Brighter Futures. Thank you. Thank you for watching our presentation. We hope you now see the impact and difference this funding has made. Should you wish to know any more about Brighter Futures, please visit our website or drop us an email.